Now, for Washington State, the non-conference hoop schedule has been a lot like M. Night Shyamalan's movie career. Started out incredible with a wooden legacy tournament win, kind of like Six Sense and Steins. Lately has been not so great. They lost four or five, kind of like Last Airbender after Earth. But if you don't know, M. Night is in the middle of a career resurrection, and after tonight, the Cougs could be trending the same direction. Harjack Ferris has been watching basketball since he woke up today, and he joins us live from Rip City. What can you expect for Phil Knight's 80th birthday? And if he's 80, Keith, I think that makes him six or seven years older than you. Keith, I want to apologize. Earlier <laughs> in the 5 o'clock, I alluded that you were uh, 70 years old. I meant in terms of wisdom. You're, you're wise beyond your years. In terms of actual age, I know you're not a day over 50. Here we are at the PK 80s. All right, so I had a big problem this morning when I woke up. I looked outside and I saw more than a quarter inch of snow. So naturally, I grabbed my moon boots and tossed them on. But today, the only socks available were my ankle socks. So I was about 15 minutes into my day before my ankle socks started riding up my foot. It was like halfway up my foot. So then I was at Safeway and I was faced with the following dilemma. Do I take off my moon boots and adjust my socks? Or do I just deal with the minor inconvenience? I chose the latter. The point of that story is that my two friends don't have to deal with that at all this week there down in San Diego. Jack, how are you holding up, buddy? Tougher than it looks, Keith. As you <laughs> mentioned, I've been in Pullman now for about 24 hours, and uh, I'm just exhausted watching these people party. Heading back down to Phoenix now, that's where we find kxy 4s Jack Ferris, and oh, buddy, I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, Casey, you know what they say, all's well that ends in a heartbreaking loss. Where's that pot of gold going to be, though? Um, that is a good <laughs> question. How festive that reminds me of Lucky Charms. Yeah. Well, they're like top ten favorite cereals. Around. Magically delicious. delicious. We'll send you on a treasure hunt. I would, I mean, oh, you know what? But All you right. asked me to get ice cream for the 11 o'clock yesterday, and yeah. I totally Yeah, where is that? Maybe tonight? Sorry. Tonight. Gonna be here. Tonight. This is pretty good. I, 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 I don't eat cereal. This is like dessert. This it is not even, perfect. this isn't breakfast, this is dessert. <laughs> I wish you guys had told me to dress up tonight. Yeah, we didn't <laughs> tell Jack. This is just what he wore to work today. I want something. Uh, uh, well, you know, there's always competition in radio and TV. There's, you know, egos the size of Texas. But egos the size of Texas. I think that's the main difference between radio people and TV people. We're very humble. Oh, yes. Yeah. We're, <laughs> we're super humble. I'm Jack Ferris here to say my goodbyes to KXOY because I belong to the river now. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Live on the river right now, Jack. Live on the river. It sounds like, I don't know, like a Creedence Clearwater album or something. It's really not that bad. A little bit of excitement, especially when you have a $30,000 camera. Go ahead and take a bite of that donut burger. I'm going to go donut burger. All right. Look at that. Mm. Look at that juiciness right there. Is there a food you can't deep fry? I'll figure out anything, buddy. I gotta get the dog. Hold on, Robin. Pray for me as I uh, bite into this bad boy. <laughs> well, so much for that. <laughs> no, don't talk. Yeah, don't. No, talk. But thank You're you. Good. That's You're Jack great. Ferris. Jack Ferris reporting right there, live. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> perfect. Perfect. There are two types of people in this world. Those who refer to golf's third major championship as the British Open and those who call it the Open Championship. I prefer the former and I will apologize to no one about it. Now, viewer discretion advised here. You're about to see one of the worst things you can see in baseball as Jacob deGrom is going to tag Mitch Haniger with a 94 mile an hour fastball. The game would stop for a while as it should. Let's take another look here. Haniger just can't get out of the way. He would walk off on his own power. That's the good news. DeGrom would later say he was rattled after that pitch, and you can imagine why. Jared Dyson comes through the next batter with a two RBI single. Mariners draw first blood in the second inning. Would it be enough? Next frame, it's Nelson Cruz up with runners on second and third, no outs. This doesn't look great. It's a line drive to Michael Conforto, but Gamble gambles, and the house is going to win big time. RBI number 76 for Nelson Cruz. Mariners get the win. They'll go for the series win tomorrow at 105. As for Hanniger, if you can believe it, concussion tests and an x-ray both came up negative. He is on the DL not clear for how long at this time. Is this one of your best eclipses? Yeah, best ever. Debbie, what was your favorite part of the uh, eclipse today? The corona. <laughs> what was your favorite part of the eclipse? Just watching it go down through the glasses was, uh, was kind of a unique experience. Mine was the two years of buildup. Eclipse make people want to tip a little bit more? No, not really. Maybe the moon blocked their way to the tip jar. What's your favorite song to do with an eclipse? 
total eclipse of the heart by Bonnie Tyler. That's a no-brainer. Can you name another eclipse song? Ooh. Uh, Ladies, on a scale of one to ten, how would you grade the Great American Eclipse? Seven. Seven. One hundred. Thirteen. Thirteen. Solid number. Did you get a chance to uh, look at the eclipse? Uh, yeah, yeah, we were able to see it. That was a trick question. You were supposed to keep your eyes on the lake the entire time. That, that's true, I was. How does this one stack up to the eclipse of 79? Uh, I don't know. Were you at work that day? How does this stack up to uh, the eclipse of 79? The 70s are a blur. <laughs> I figured as much, Debbie.